And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2016 Japan K1 Featherweight World Championship Tournament. At Yoyogi National Gymnasium, the second gymnasium, we've got 4,800 screaming fans ready for this tournament final to kick off. In the red corner, Kaito Ozawa taking on in the blue, Takeru. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil, and let's see what transpires in the ring tonight. Here we are, man, the culmination of the tournament. Let's see who will be the winner. And feeling good at the after party. And yeah, there is no love lost between these two, man. Uh, <laughs> they don't like each other. Like, not only in the ring, Ozawa just doesn't even like the mere existence of Takeru. Oh my gosh. He would be Tsurai if he were to lose this match. Yeah. Takeru looking so dominant. You know, in oh, the yeah. semi-final match against the tough yeah. Chi Yoon. Yeah. Um, he's got to just be feeling like a, a steamroller, man. Like a, just a dump truck moving forward. Oof. A tough dude, man. Just heavy shots. Yeah. You know, as you said, going up a weight class. Yes. But he's still dominating. Clearly the most powerful guy in the tournament. Yeah. Oh, man. And Ozawa, you know, can match Takeru's speed. And Ozawa's got great combos, mm -hmm. but he needs to try to find a way to not have to match power. Yeah. And it's not going to be a good tactic for him. Mm. I like what he's doing with the with the front kicks, though. Mm. You caught him. Keeping some distance. I mean, Ozawa's sneaking with the front leg, but yeah, he needs to get off those ropes yeah. immediately. You know, if you, if you, if you, when you're walking back, you, you're just gonna. You, they, that was that was smart. You know, going off the back foot, yeah. pushing forward with the jab, but it's just not enough power generated yeah. to stop. He's like the blob. You ever seen the movie of the blob, the big pink? Yeah, yeah. The, the, that's how that's how he fights. He keeps on moving forward, oh, yep. smothering you. It's so true, yeah. man, just building, building, and building little by little, every strike, man, adding to the next. Ooh, yeah, they're not finished. What I wonder is how will this Takeru's hair get cooler as the tournament goes? Yeah, yeah, man. This is looking cooler than yeah. it has in the previous <laughs> matches. I talked to a stylist. It's kakoe level. Yeah. It's high right now. <laughs> what I love with Takeru throws is that right hook to the body. Yeah. Um, Murata Ryota Murata, the famous Japanese mm -hmm. um, boxing champion, uses that strike. You can, it's kind of an underutilized strike yeah. um, in kickboxing and boxing, but they throw it so powerful. Wow! Oh, man. Yeah. How can you just overwhelm him with the power? Oh, man. You can feel it. You can cut the tension yes. with the knife. The coin Japanese and Kazukashi, <laughs> what Ozawa just experienced. Yeah. Yeah, Takeru doesn't even care about defense right now. Oh, man. Takeru is all over him. Kaito has got to try to survive this round. Wow, that was, that was almost it right there. Oh. He barely got up. Ooh, and he's out of the round safely. Now he's got to get back to the drum board oh, here. Man, two more rounds there, and mm. Takeru is up. Yeah. Two knockdowns. I mean, Kaito, you know, I don't know if there is a, a word for the position he's in. Because uh, coming from behind, it's more like yeah. coming from behind and below. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Really. Yeah, underdog at this point yeah. doesn't really. Yeah. No. Under, uh, Dark Horse. Man, yeah, I don't even know. He's in a bad spot, yeah. man. Takeru is going Submerged super Saiyan mode yeah, right yeah. here. Submerged canine level right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what the hair is, man. It's Goku, because he's, yeah, he he's literally just threw his defense out. Didn't even worry about it. 100% power on every shot marching yeah. forward. In all of the possible dimensions, <laughs> in, in none of those did Kaito win that no, round. No, 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 not at all. But what can Kaito actually do? I mean, you know, 
That's the, well. That's the question. Yeah, exactly. What can anyone do? Yeah. Some good. I, I I really think low kicks, just to throw off the rhythm, mm. and then see what happens from there. But no, everyone everyone get kind of gets caught mm. up in the tempest of of, of, of you know yes. punch punching with with Takeda, which which you just shouldn't do. Tempest is exactly right, man. It is just a storm um, that gets just lowered upon you from his fists and kicks and knees. I mean, and Kite Bad has Ooh. a great front kick that he can put to use. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just, yeah. He can't match the power. He's got to try to land something big and surprising. Whether it be a hook. Oh, there you go. Big front kick there. And just more of that. Ah. Oh, that was a good inside low kick. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I think he whipped that pocket. Yeah, that, there's a good moment. Mm, but I think, yeah, you, pay, you pay hard when you even break for a second with Takeru. Yeah, it's going to be tough. But yeah, he's looking good. Yeah, front kick, front kick, front kick. Oh, leg man. kick, big knee. Yeah, just, you know, I think that really worked well for him in that exchange. And don't, don't get caught up with the punches, man. I mean, I think mm. that's, that's where you're going to lose. Okay, they're throwing the front kick, um, Mikatsuki get, Getty style here, mm -hmm. which is like with the ball of the foot yeah. round like a roundhouse. Yeah. Uh, karate technique. So if anyone is wondering what he's doing there, it's unique. Yeah. Yeah, don't oh. get put up with the punches, man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just a little bit dirty, man. The power of Takeda, man, just overwhelming. If Ozawa can, can like. You know, throw the front kick, kick out the lead leg mm -hmm. when Takeru commits yeah. to those big punches. That's not a bad game plan at all. Yeah. But he's got to have, he's got to have an equalizer. He's got to have something big mm -hmm. that gets Takeru's attention. At this point, there's nothing. Yeah. You can do the spinning back fist. You open yourself up to the melee that comes after. Yeah. Takeru is so vicious to the body too. I think Ozawa's doing everything he can. He's just being outmatched. Yeah. We have about uh, 15 seconds here in the second round. Yeah. Man, Takeru is, yeah, he's getting, he's getting a little dirty in there, yeah. pushing the head back. Clearly, these yeah. guys don't like each other. Ozawa, I mean, Ozawa's hanging in there reasonably well. Yeah. Especially, he was looking really hurt when yeah. he was down before. Yeah. Yeah. So, shocked. It's just, you know, two downs in one round, man. It's yeah. just in the first round. <laughs> mm. It just sucks. Credit to Uzawa to be still standing and, and taking it, uh, taking, you know, the punishment from Takeru, but uh, yeah, he's got, he's got to find something. That was, that was a good spinning back fist. Yeah, but it's just a little sloppy. I mean, mm. cool. yeah, he's trying to do the big swings. You know, the trade-off, you know, just those body shots, even over the guard. Yeah. It hurts so bad. You know, when we're here describing a body below, you know, to the audience, mm -hmm. you don't, unless you felt one, you don't really know what that means. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's pain that it hurts initially, but it sticks with you, so that becomes a wound. That is a spot that Sigma! continues to fester. Yeah. And so, Kaito's body, in that minute in between rounds, is not going to be recovered. Yeah. And it's also the wound it's, is still yeah. there. And it's Absolutely. mental too because Absolutely. getting hurt by someone just sucks. You think you're strong, you know, you're watching this fight and you think, yeah, yeah, you know, I I could I could mm. do that. Like, no, you can't, man. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you really can't. Yeah. And um, you know mm. that's why, you know, like as you always said, man, these guys have you know, energy meters and like life bars on top of them. And each one of those blows drains that bar. And uh like Ozawa, Definitely on the losing end of that right now. He's, he's, he's giving a, a valiant effort right here. Doing a good job of hanging in there, but you just see the difference in power. Um, there's nothing that Takeru is particularly worried about. No. It's really easy for him to just play this game here in the phone booth. Well, he's talking he's talking to smack too while he's throwing the punches. Mm. From here. Getting in Ozawa's head. Yeah, Takeru's hairstyle just continues to improve. <laughs> Oh. 
Dude, big, big what body. Look at this green on top, yeah. top of his face as he's unleashing his blows to the body. I guess he's winning. I gotta say, I'm I'm impressed with Ozawa the way he's hanging in here mm -hmm. and um, fighting Taki to toe to toe. But it's just it may not be the best plan of action for him. No. And he's, I mean, the low, the low kicks, man. Just low, 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 low. That's what I'd be screaming right now if I was in the, if I was in the corner. Mm. Easier said than done. Mm. Taki is so powerful, so dominant. And we're already halfway through the round. Yeah. Kaito Ozawa has got to make something big happen here. Yeah. One knockdown could work, but uh, he's he's in survival mode. Oh, a nice front kick there. Yeah, you know, if he had some stuff to follow up with the front kick, um, you know, trying to back fist didn't seem to work. Has not had any luck with any high kicks. Tribe throwing the lead hook. Right at this point, Takeru is just standing in the buffet and taking what he wants. Mm -hmm. he's eating, those, eating, eating, eating that left hand. Mm. Yeah, this is a great, um, such a great example of what K1 is right here. Like, mm -hmm. this is the final. Both of these guys have had two fights already to get here. This is the third round, and they're just. Fighting their hearts out. Yeah. You can train all you want and have all the stamina that you want, but to be able to have output like this, it takes incredible amounts of heart. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these guys are not, these guys probably don't even feel, feel their, their bodies right now. They're, they're just yeah. they're just they're just the entities in space just floating because like yeah. yeah. They look. Both of them are just exhausted. Yeah, Takeda is just so powerful, man. I got, I'm, I am very impressed with Kaito coming from such a tough spot, yeah. being down for a second time, mm -hmm. almost looking like it was over, and fighting through to the end. Yeah, amazing. Nine hard rounds for him this evening. <laughs> yeah. But Takeda is such a force. Yeah, like I said, there are about, what, seven billion people out there. Someone's got to have the answer. Oh. Of course. <laughs> but who is it? Yeah. They haven't been found yet. Yeah. Maybe they're uh, maybe they're just uh, just starting kickboxing right now. You know, yeah. Maybe they've only been doing kickboxing for a year or two, but maybe you're that person that will take care of in his place. Who knows? And then sign up and send in your resume. Because we need an <laughs> opponent for Takeru. My gosh. Judge <laughs> Wow. Yeah, huge win. Takeru making the move up in weight class. Wow, and these guys showing um showing some respect. I clearly not not best friends, mm -hmm. but uh still giving each other the nod. Yeah. Yeah, they are, they are co-workers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty know. much, yeah. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. You do have to at least say hello. Without one, there is not the other. Mm -hmm. and that's that's about fighting, you know. You can't you can't be a champion without people to champion over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's important to show that respect. That's right, man. Well, uh, you know, what did they say? Iron sharpens iron, yeah. or steel yeah. sharpens steel. Yeah. You know, these guys make each other better yeah. with these hard fights, but... Uh, Takeru just seems to be on another level, yeah. man. Um, for his size, he generates so much power. Yeah. He's so clean, he's so fast. And it's it's that that um, that element, you know, that you can't describe. He's got the the what the, what, the X factor, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's like this confidence, this yeah. like, aura that he projects, the aura, yeah. man. You know, and then, yep. Hold on to it because, you know, uh, Maybe it's the hair, man. Maybe it's the hair. Yeah, maybe, man. Now, who knows? But if he's in his prime. Yes. Um, you know. You know, if you don't give him a new challenge, you know, this is going to get boring just beating people up. So, yeah, uh, yeah. We need to, we need to get someone to give, uh, give Takeru you know, something to push towards. Yeah. He's fighting with. 
kilograms. ちょっと、きつ、きつかった。<笑> 1回戦終わったぐらいからもう結構足とか拳とかボロボロであの正直ちょっとだいぶしんどかったんですけどでも俺がチャンピオンじゃないとこの K1 え、なんかチャンピオンになったら言いたいこと絶対盛り上がらないと思うんで。え、年末もう一回やりたいと思います。え、大晦日のリングでえっと、K1もっと、え、広めて、え、K1代表として、K1もっと、えっと、日本全国世界に広げてくるんで、え、大晦日もよろ